the um, local elected officials have come together from all across this state. We're all here because all of us, the, the local officials are the ones bearing the brunt of the, the failures of this governor. And forget for a moment just kind of the erratic COVID response. We had a tier system. We had watch lists. We had colored maps with certain metrics. Some were ignored that used to be important. Then they came back, and then the color tiers all got changed. Sometimes we follow the CDC guidance. Sometimes we don't. Your guess is as good as mine, what the governor is going to require with respect to getting our children back to school this, uh, this fall, if at all going to depend on the teachers union, not the science, not good governance. Forget all that. As local elected officials, we were the ones picking up the pieces for our citizens who were unable to work, who were applying throughout this state for employment, unemployment benefits through the EDD. And we watched $30 billion, maybe more, disappear into fraud. Our crime rates have been increasing just because of these policies uh, that this governor has pushed forward to release uh, criminals rather than having them pay for the price of their crime and leaving the victims, um, again, reliving their trauma. Housing policies, it's not directed at affordability, not directed at um, homelessness. Rather, it is continued to build at places that can't be built. Anaheim is the largest city in Orange County. We are the 10th largest city in California. We're home, of course, to Disneyland, the largest convention center on the West Coast, and two major league sports teams, Angels Baseball and Ducks Hockey. And while our economy is diverse, given the amenities we have, tourism plays a major part. So in March of last year, Governor Newsom shut down our tourism economy entirely. While it may have been necessary at the time, for us to grapple with the, with getting a hold of the pandemic and how to deal with it, the governor kept us closed for over a year. The streets around Disneyland were just like a ghost town. Sporting events and conventions off the books, canceled. Our hotels went from 95% occupancy down to 5% overnight. Governor Newsom's arbitrary and baseless order that kept us closed for over a year has cost Anaheim taxpayers $210 million in tax revenue. And that's in addition to the businesses gone and the jobs that have been lost. One of the things that is just blowing my mind is that Governor Newsom had no problem shutting down the state, but he, the, the, the uh, state, California state government is not shut down. It has been working all this time with hundreds of bills that are just terrible. A lot of them are terrible. People cannot participate. We used to be able to go up to Sacramento. I haven't been to Sacramento in a year and a half. I would go a lot of times and go into offices and talk about bills. People were worried about survival. Their businesses, their health. They're not worried. They're not paying attention to these. So they're pushing these bills through. And that, to me, that is, is if they wanted to do bills about the pandemic, okay. But things, pushing through things that are not related to the pandemic and yet are pushing when people can't respond is just hypocrisy to me. And on September 14th, the people of California will speak up with their votes and let them know that they're tired of his rhetoric, tired of his antics, tired of his control and his misplaced priorities that have caused so much harm to so many. And so we hope that the voters will speak loudly at the um, ballot box this year. And so on September 14th, vote this governor out because he is not leading. He is hurting all of us. September 14th is the opportunity for the state of California to get some competent leadership at the Sacramento, at the governor's level.